Now this little goblin is the Cox 049. That's 0 0.049 of a cubic inch, about half a cc. It's perhaps the most socially unacceptable engine of any size or description created. Um, being a two-stroke, runs a two-stroke fuel, but it's an absolute witch's brew. 20% uh, castor oil for lubrication. 15% uh, nitromethane and the balance being methanol. That's what it takes to get this thing running. And it's got the whale of the banshee, which uh, hopefully you will hear very shortly. Now that little demo was it just running rich, it's not yet. Uh, being a relatively new motor, um, it needs two or three runs before you let it uh, give it its head, so you run them a bit rich for the first couple of runs and then I'll get back to you when it's uh, screaming its tits off. So the methanol I used in the fuel is quite old, probably about a year old. Methanol being hydroscopic, it absorbs water from the atmosphere, so uh, I'll have to wait until I get some fresh methanol. It just won't hold a, um, won't hold uh, a note. Plus, some of the gaskets and seals I had to use were secondhand, so I've got new uh, gaskets and seals coming. So that'll help. It's a reed valve engine and the reed valve itself gets fatigued. And again, it's a second-hand reed valve, so I've got new reed valves coming. But um, it's not bad for an amalgam of three or four different motors. I heat-treated the piston um, to improve the fit. The heat-treating is uh, take the piston, stick it in the oven at maximum temperature, let it heat soak for about an hour, then dip it into um, crushed ice. That actually uh, shocks the piston into being a little bit bigger, grows the piston. Then you lap it in. I just usually use toothpaste to lap the piston back into the cylinder, and away you go. running quite well. I'll get it even better. Thank you for watching.